So currently blenitumumab, uh, the CD3, CD19 bispecific T-cell engager is approved for use in the relapsed refractory space uh, based on studies that have now been done several years ago. Um, but as time has gone on and some additional experience has come out, there's certainly uh, data now to support its use in other circumstances where I think there's probably the, the most interest right now is either in in the relapsed refractory space, but in, in states of very low disease burden, uh, or in the frontline management, uh, particularly of older adults, uh, whether it's pH positive or pH negative disease. Uh, so the, where, it, where it still fits within the approval, um, the relapsed refractory setting, whether it's with measurable residual disease, uh, detectable by PCR or flow cytometry, uh, this has now been approved for a few years, uh, but I think has a particularly appealing um, safety profile and efficacy, whether it's in the context of initial therapy with persistent MRD or for patients who've had a frank relapse and then go on to receive salvage therapy. Uh, for example, the pediatric experience has shown that using blinitumumab as a as sort of consolidation uh, as part of salvage therapy it can be very effective and spare some of the toxicity with chemotherapy. Looking more at the frontline setting, though, where arguably there'll be more uh, extension of blinitumumab use in the years to come, um, reported at EHA, but also uh, at ASCO and, 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 and published as well, combinations with either desatinib or panotinib in the frontline setting uh, for adults with Philadelphia chromosome positive disease. Uh, and then there was also a recent publication from the Southwest Oncology Group in the U.S. Uh, where they combine it, uh, they give blinitumumab first and then pump maintenance for pH negative uh, older adults. So as these studies mature uh, and more experience like this comes out, we may start to see more use of blinitumumab, uh, at least as long as the survival uh, curves hold up to suggest that these responses are durable, but also importantly, in, uh, this is a somewhat complicated agent to give if you don't have much experience with it. So how applicable these data will be to uh, resource limited areas or smaller practices that aren't as comfortable with it, I think remains to be seen.